How's it going there folks? I'm Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and as great as MacBooks and MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs can be, sometimes their keys get a little bit finicky. So I'm going to show you how to remove them if you need to replace or clean underneath them. It's pretty easy, and let's get to work. Now you're going to want a Phillips flathead screwdriver because that makes this process a lot easier. On the MacBook Pros, on the left side of the key, on the top and bottom, there are two pins. I usually go down through the bottom, but if you snap that one pin out, and it's kind of hard to show on video, but you'll realize it when you see it, that will allow you to pop the entire key assembly out. Now, not only do you get the key, but you also get the mechanism with it as well. Right here we display how the key works and it's actually pretty neat, but you will need to remove the mechanism from the actual key cap, even if you're just getting in there to clean. Now you do need to remove it because you need to replace the mechanism back into the computer before you put the key cap back on the computer. Once you've cleaned, or haven't cleaned like me, you'll notice that there are three hooks, and these are all very important because they play a big role in replacing the key. Now, as you can see here, I bring the key in already scissored. You can do it flat, but it makes it a lot harder. So if you just bend it up and make it scissored, it'll make things a lot easier. Make sure it's in the main hook down on the right side, and then you have to snap the little plastic pins into the side hooks. There's one on the bottom, and there's one on the top. I like to do the bottom first because it makes things easier, and once you've got one hooked in, like I have here, you can then take your screwdriver to pop the other one back in nice and easy. Once you've got the mechanism in place, you can test it by pulling up on the main piece and make sure that it does indeed scissor. And once you've done that, all you need to do is take the key and press it back on straight and easy. Then you're totally good to go. Your key is back on your computer and you're in business. Now the MacBook Air is actually kind of the opposite of the MacBook Pro. It's a little bit hard to take the key off, but it's quite a bit easier to put it back on. Taking the key off uses the same concept, but they're pretty tight. Now putting the key back on, you will need to use the same scissor concept as I used before. And as you can see, as I'm scissoring it here, there are four hooks that you need to concern yourself with, not just the standard one and two clips on the MacBook Pro. Hook in from the top with the smaller scissor and then simply snap on the bottom. You'll be good to go. Then take your key and place it straight on, snap it in, and you're set. Each Apple laptop over the years applies different concepts to how the keys are assembled. However, all of them do use the scissor concept and don't be worried to peek underneath the key to see how you can get it apart. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy.